When I was a kid growing up in the country, you could always find me at the barn because I loved the horses and I loved the cattle and I loved being outdoors and I loved being around the animals. I've just always been an animal person, but I, I think uh, my fascination with birds happened when I started flying. Well, I got my pilot's license as a young woman and, um, and I'll never forget the day I soloed. And my instructor said to me, he said, if you want to find the lift air, he said, you look to see where the hawks are. And I looked over at the foothills, and sure enough, there was a hawk over there. It was a red-tailed hawk, bracketing a thermal. And I made my way over there, just kind of glided over there, stuck my wing in, and up I went. I remember, like it was yesterday, the experience of being up there with that bird. Every now and then I have dreams about it. I mean, you know, it's that profound to me. The piece that is in the museum, the title is called Red Tail Hawk at Sapa Creek. When the U.S. Army came in to drive the Cheyenne out, the, the shaman that led the tribe was killed in the battle. His inspiration in nature was the red tail hawk. The legend was that if you could find this battlefield, the red tail hawk was always circling above this rise where the battle occurred. I'm an outdoor girl and I, I love to be in the outdoors and this is just a paradise for, for an artist to find their material, I guess you'd call it. I'm out with my sketchbook all the time, my cameras, and, and just being there is an inspiration to me. I've traveled extensively, and each region has its own special something. But the West is home. This is where I belong. I belong in the West with the animals and the birds that live here.